This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG deck profile video on my channel. Today on the menu it's none other than ADP, the most successful deck of the Sword and Shield metagame. This time around it's time to update that deck with Rebel Clash cards. So uh, you're gonna hear what is in this particular list in this video. We're gonna go over each card and what better way to start things off than with Arceus, Dialga and Palkia GX ADP. This is still such a broken card thanks to Altered Creation GX. We are able to of course make sure that we take additional prize cards while also dishing out more damage. So uh, the perfect partner is of course going to be Zacian because it already has a high base damage and we can of course abuse Metal Saucer to power it up or sometimes Ultimate Raid. In today's meta game, there's gonna be a lot of V Maxes around so we're also gonna be including Zamazenta V but more on that later. First of all, we're gonna try and get uh, ADP out. We have Tackle, we have Cherish Ball, uh, we even have Quick Ball so getting this out will be easy as pie with this list so we are having this as our main Pokemon which we want to get out on the first turn then three copies of Zacian V this is a, a busted card everything about this card is great we have a, an ability which lets us draw cards while also accelerating energies if we find them we also have Brave Blade having additional uh, yeah damage output of 230 ADP does not dish out a huge amount of damage but uh, Ultra Creation uh, will make sure that Zacian will get the one hit KOs on any tag team we have Vitality Band in our list so we don't need to rely on Shrine because lots of uh, decks will now revolve around V Pokemon or V Maxes so no need for Shrine anymore so I opted to go for Vitality Band instead and uh, we got, we're gonna see which stadium cards we're running instead but a Brave Blade such a powerful attack is gonna be able to uh, either two shot any VMAX or a one shot tag teams if we have Vitality Band so very powerful card indeed also easy to set up thanks to the help of Metal Saucer then one copy of the Zamazenta V. We have not seen this card a lot. That's because uh, it has a yeah an ability that prevents damage done to it by uh, the opponent's V Maxes. And since there aren't a lot of popular V Maxes nowadays, uh, yeah, this didn't see any play during its lifespan of Sword and Shield. But with Rebel Clash, Toxtricity V Max looks promising. Uh, Dragapult V Max looks promising. We can just uh, slide this into our deck, uh, get some Metal Saucers onto it, and start attacking with that. Not only can you get rid of special energies. Think about Speed Lightning energy. Think about horror psychic energy all those new psychic uh, actually those special energies we, we can now discard and we also have three crushing hammers in our list so that's going to be very disruptive for those v max decks so one copy of zamazenta v we're just going to put it under the uh, station next up we're going to have some uh, utility pokemon we're having two copies of jirachi I know this uh, seems very similar like uh, the typical build but we need, need Jirachi because in certain scenarios the opponent will try to reset stamp us and it's just nice to have one of those Jirachis laying on the bench just helping us out with Stellar Wish. So uh, I do love the fact that we can still use this. You can also use this on the first turn which does help uh, its playability. Jirachi is still busted. We're not running more than that because if we're up against something like Dracapult VMAX you don't want your bench full of Jirachi so I think the small package of Jirachi should do the trick fine. Definitely be considering the fact that that we don't have to dig for custom catchers anymore. Sometimes it was like, Stellar Wish, do I find a custom catcher? Well, that's not necessary anymore because we have bosses order. So a uh, small, uh, yeah, Jirachi package is fine in my, in my opinion. Then two copies of the Dene. This is gonna go drawing uh, into our deck very quickly. Also getting rid of metal energies, putting them in the discard pile for us then to abuse with metal saucer. This the Dene is gonna be uh, the way we are gonna mainly search for our bosses orders. We don't have uh, something like Tapu Lele in the format anymore. So we're gonna dig deeply with the Dene and find our bosses artists. We're playing three copies. As soon as there's one copy in the discard pile, we can even use this new card, Eldegos V, to search for it in the discard pile. Uh, this is gonna be fantastic uh, with, of course, our quick ball. So we have two Dedene and one Eldegos V. Okay, moving forward, we're gonna talk about the supporters. So you do see this is the uh, yeah the Pokemon that uh, makes sure that we have consistency and these are the attackers. So Zacian V, our top dog in town, uh, which is able to one-shot, as mentioned, tag teams and two-shot V Maxes or maybe one-shot uh, regular Vs if they are not able to V Max for a particular reason. And then Zamazenta V is actually, don't underestimate this card. This can uh, discard special energies with its attack and in combination with our crushing hammers, the opponent will be crying in the corner, presumably, if everything goes well with the 
coin flips. Now, to the supporters, four copies of Professor's Research, the most uh, busted draw supporter, of course, everybody that uh, was playing during the time of Professor Sycamore, or, uh, yeah, <laughs> will definitely remember this. It's a very powerful uh, draw supporter. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Discarding your hand might seem bad, but of course, if there's a metal energy in the discard pile, we can get it back with Metal Saucer. If there's a supporter in the discard pile, we can get it back with Eldigo Z's at a specific point in the game. Then two copies of Marnie. Marnie is gonna be our way. We can disrupt the opponent, putting them to a four card hand. Those V Maxes do, do, do need to evolve. So if you put them to a four card hand, they might even whiff their V Max. And that way, that means Zation can just go crazy and one shot them. Then, of course, we're gonna be having the new bosses orders. We're gonna be running three copies this time around because we're gonna have an aggressive draw support in the form of the Dene. So, uh, bosses orders. If one goes to the discard pile, no problem. We can use Eldigo's V to use it again. Also, uh, if you have uh, research in your hand, your opening hand, and you throw away like one copy of bosses orders, it's not even that bad. So, three copies to make sure we last through the game. Because Gusting is broken, definitely considering if uh, Zacian smacks for 270 with the Vitality Band, even tag teams on the bench will shake in their boots thanks to Boss's Orders. We also have one copy of Great Catcher, but more on that in the item section. Now, to uh, two supporters here, the Tackle Package. We are having a small Tackle Package in the form of two Tackles, and then one Guzman Hala, one Mallow and Lana. Why do we need, uh, don't need more? Well, uh, as mentioned, LD Ghost V can get them back if they are in the discard pile. Definitely Mallow and Lana is now great because uh, Dragapult V uh, yeah, puts a lot of damage counters across our board and with Mallow and Lana we can simply heal that off. It also is very nice with the effect of Brave Blade because we cannot use that attack during our next turn. With Mallow and Lana we can also retreat uh, to the bench which is awesome, uh, actually switch to the bench which is awesome and then Guzman Hala. You're gonna see we're gonna be running a couple of tool cards, interesting ones. We also have stadium cards and even of course uh, what else is special energy so we have lots of things we can get out with Guzman Hala we need that to of course get our Aurora energy for ADP we also have one copy of the water energy thrown in here and we're also uh, having one copy of energy spinner so it's kind of like a mix between the build of Tord Reckliff and the Japanese build with the hammers so uh, we fused them into one because uh, thanks to testing we did know that uh, having disruption with crushing hammers do slow all of the VMAXs down they need lots of energies uh, let's say they are using Dracopult V. They are having a horror energy and a regular energy. Well, we can go with Zamazenta, discard one energy, use Crushing Hammer, and out of nowhere they have zero energies and they have to start from scratch. Same goes for Toxtricity V. They need three energies to attack. Okay, they have Thunder Mount. Okay, they have uh, the uh, other uh, thing here, the Tapu Koko uh, Prism Star. But if we smack down our Cryotic Swell, Thunder Mountain is useless. As well as uh, the uh, other thing here with the Tapu Koko V, they can only use it once. So we don't have to be afraid too much. Then four copies of Quick Ball. We're uh, here in the item section. What better way to start things off with Quick Ball? Finding everything in this list. I know we are kind of screwed against uh, things like Obstagoon. We only have basic Pokemon, but I don't think Obstagoon will do great in the meta because a lot of VMAX will be played so that's why we're cutting all those tech cards no need for mobile and all that uh, <laughs> shenanigans just a straightforward basic Pokemon going on a rampant with Ultra Creation GX then there's gonna be two copies of Cherry Ball, Cherish Ball and uh, two copies of uh, Tackle. You could split it around like one Cherish Ball, three Tackle. It all depends on your playstyle, but I do love playing with the Cherish Ball to find either ADP or our Dedenis to go deeper into our deck. Same goes for the Tackle. It could be consistent to find Guzman Hala, but we only play one Guzman Hala, so uh, a small Tackle package uh, is actually not too shabby because we can draw deeply with Cherish Balls, aka the Dene. So uh, there we go. So two Cherish Ball, two Tackle. Next up, four copies of Switch. Switch is important. Not only can we reset the attack effect of Brave Blade, this is also gonna help our Jirachi out of the active position. Or maybe the Dane if we start with it. So uh, the, these three on, uh, on the bottom here, you don't want to start with those, but it happens from time to time. We have so many starters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight good starters. Three uh, <laughs> less good starters. So uh, four Switches will, of course, help with that. Also getting ADP in the active position to use Alter Creation on our second turn is gonna be the best way we can go about this. Okay, what other 4 offs do we have? Of course, Metal Saucer. What would a Zacian deck be without Metal Saucer? Metal Saucer provides us energies from the discard pile, so that's why the, it works phenomenally well with the Dene. You throw away your Metal Energies, use Metal Saucer. It's gonna be fantastic. So, uh, 4 copies of that. So, ta-da! 
Alright, what else can we put in a deck like this? As mentioned, I'm a huge fan of hammers, so uh, <laughs> we're gonna put hammers in this list. Uh, actually, I'm a huge fan of hammers in uh, the Zacian builds. The reason for that is that, as mentioned, V-Maxes will need lots of energies, they will need to evolve, they will be less consistent. Yeah, okay. Compare that with this, you use Ultra Creation Jacks, smack down a Marnie, use Crushing Hammer, they get rid of an energy, wow, they're gonna be set behind so much. And uh, yeah, if we knock out a V-Max, we got four prize cards. If Ultra Creation Jax is live, then we just need to use boss's orders on something like a Jirachi and we win the game. So, uh, fantastic busted list indeed. Then a couple of one us. We have one energy spinner. This is nice. Sometimes Jirachi can find energy spinner or we just draw manually into it. And we can find, uh, if we uh, go second, we can find a lot of metal energies to put them in a discard pile thanks to the Dene. Or uh, you can just find your water energy. I know water energy could be priced. That is gonna be sometimes nasty, but then you just rely on tackle Goose Mahala. What is the chance that energy spender and Goose Mahala is priced, right? Or you don't start with an Aurora energy in your hand. It, uh, it is just not that uh, frequent that that happens. Then one copy of Great Catcher. I know we're still playing three bosses orders, but sometimes you just want to disrupt using Mari and then uh, go for Great Catcher instead. Great Catcher can still target down the Dene. It can still target down uh, yeah other GX Pokemon and uh, also. We can uh, target down uh, yeah, tag teams on the bench, which is fantastic, so to clean off games. Then one copy of Reset Stamp, still very busted in my opinion. Reset Stamp will make sure that we can, of course, uh, slow the opponent down if they have a head start. We can just put them down to a low hand size. Let's say they knocked out an ADP, they knocked out a Zacian. Well, they still need to take one more prize card. We stand them to one and then Zacian takes over. That's going to be the way it goes. Then our, our tool cards. We have Guzman Hala. These are uh, the, the tool cards we're running. Only one copy of a skateboard since we're running a low package of Jirachi. Vitality Band, so we can hit 270, the magical number to one-shot tag teams. I think tag teams will still be around, even though VMAXs do have a huge amount of HP, the, the tag teams are basic and are easier to set up. So we see, we're still gonna see Picaron, we're still gonna see Mewtwo, so Vitality Band will help us out. No more are we gonna rely on the, the Shrine of Punishment, because we're gonna be running a heavy amount of the Chaotic Swell. Codex Well will shut down any Stadium card from coming into play, which helps us out more than ever before. Then one Metal Frying Pan, because fire decks might still be around, they might just prey on Zacian. So uh, in, in the case of, let's say, uh, yeah, Baby Blastafalon, I think still busted. <laughs> you can use Metal Frying Pan, so they will need more energies to discard. And uh, against uh, those kind of decks, we can also like disrupt them in some sort of way. We don't have Absol in the list. I would love to throw Absol into here. But uh, seeing as it is right now, we're gonna see a lot of VMAXs anyhow. So this is gonna be the way we're doing it. So that's that. We're just gonna put them right over here. And then, for the stadium card of choice, two copies of Chaotic Swell. I cannot stress enough how good this card is, or is becoming. The better stadiums are coming out, the better Chaotic Swell will be. Chaotic Swell will make sure that Thunder Mountain cannot come and play. They could use Mars Shadow, but they have to search for it. And uh, searching for Mars Shadow and Tapu Koko Prism Star at the same time is a little bit clunky, so I do love the effect that we can throw in Chaotic Swell. Sometimes you might even uh, opt to go for a Lysander Labs or maybe putting a Tool Scraper. That's also a new item card to get rid of uh, some uh, tool cards. But I just find that Chaotic Swell does the trick well enough. Then, to finish the list, we're going to be running uh, one Water Energy and then two Aurora Energies. This seems to be doing the trick just fine. So uh, we're going to put them like here. Ta -da. And then, to finish the list, we're gonna be running 8 physical copies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 physical copies of Metal Energy. This will last us through the game. You could include more if you want to have a, a better chance at your Interpret Sword. But seeing as we run the Dene, and uh, the Dene will be uh, in play a lot of the time, I know we could be vulnerable against other things like ADP, but we have Crushing Hammers to slow them down, so in that case, it does work out. So this is the updated list of the uh, Zacian ADP. What can we see? Zamazenta is new, Eldigo is fantastic, Boss Zordras is good, and uh, we uh, opted to go for Vitality Band instead of Shrine of Punishment. So this is the list for you today, so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and uh, let me know if you will test out a Zacian ADP in the new Rebel Clash format. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day, thanks again for tuning in on my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.